Hi everyone, what's up? All good? Great. So today I will be sharing my complete interview experience with Cisco and the things which I think because of which I got rejected in Cisco. Yeah, rejected. Because I think somewhere listening to rejection stories is also equally important to listening to selection stories because with rejection stories you get to learn from others' mistakes so that you should not repeat those mistakes in your interviews. Okay, so let's get started. So I get to interview with Cisco within hackathon called Code with Cisco. So this was a hackathon for team down, basically of three people. But we couldn't make it to the hackathon now. But they sent an online assessment mail to some of the top performers of the hackathon. So I got an online assessment mail, and which consists of two coding questions and some MCQs. Basically, coding questions were of medium to hard level, and the MCQs were related to CS fundamentals mainly. So this was all for the coding round. I remember it was for sixty minutes. So yeah. And then uh, after clearing the coding round, it consists of four interview rounds. Okay, so let's talk about each and every interview round in detail. So I think they don't have any particular defined criteria for each interview round, like whether this interview round is going to be completely technical or whether this interview round is completely going to be managerial or CS fundamentals. So, so I don't think they have that much defined criteria. But because my second and third round was complete mix of all these things. But my first round was completely technical. But this was not the case for everyone. Because some of my friends have first round based on their resume only. Some of my friends have their first round based on CS fundamentals only. So this was different for everyone. So my first round, in my first round, he asked me five TSA questions. Don't just get overwhelmed with this number. But he asked me five TSA questions with code as well. But the questions were very basic, like height of a tree and finding of line number. So these kind of questions, TSA questions, he asked me. And then he shifted to CS fundamentals. He asked me an OSI model in detail. Asked me to. Tell the function of each and every level protocols of at, at protocols at every level in detail. So yeah, this was all for my first round of the interview. It was mainly technical, and it all lasted around fifty to fifty five minutes. Now let's talk about the second round. So after within one or two hours, I got the list that I am selected for the second round of interview. So in my second round of interview was basically based on CS fundamentals and my resume. In this round as well, I was asked the OSI model in detail, like every, the function of every level, the protocol at every level, in detail. And then questions related to CS fundamentals, and then a long discussion on my resume, my past internships. Uh, he he then he, and then he asked me whether I have done any research work. Then I was trying to relate it my internship because my internship one of my internship was related to compilers. And in this, uh, I have done a lot of research on compilers because without doing this, I was not able to contribute to their project. So I was telling about that research work, but he was not expecting to tell him the research work of an internship. He was expecting some different research work. So for this question, I have to say no that I have not done any other research work. And then he asked me for any real life problem for which there should be a solution. Like he was not asking the solution. He was not expecting any technical solution. He was just asking that whether you have faced any real life problem for which you think, yeah, this can be solved. I can solve this, or someone else can solve this. And then he asked me about my final year project. Yeah, so this was all for the second round of interview. This also lasted around forty-five to fifty minutes. And then the, all these interview rounds were completed in the afternoon. And then the evening, I got the list that yeah, I am selected for the third round of the interview. And the third round was scheduled for the next day. Now the third round of interview was completely based on CS fundamentals, my resume, and managerial questions as well. So first of all, he asked me questions related to CS fundamentals like routers, switches, IP addresses, difference between routers and switches. So these kind of questions were there related to CS fundamentals. And then he asked me questions related to my project and internships. 
and then he asked me some managerial questions like what do you, what do you know about cisco which product of cisco do you like why do you like that product and why where do you see yourself in 5 years why you want to join an it industry why you want to join in networking company basically he wanted to know my passion about the networking that why i want to join networking company yeah cisco is a networking company so yeah this was all for the third round of the interview this also lasted around 40 to 45 minutes and within 2 hours i got the this that i am rejected yeah so let's first let's talk about if i got selected in what will be the further process so after the third round of interview there is just an eti connect round for 10 to 15 minutes in which they will ask you questions like whether you are comfortable with relocating and whether you are available for six month internship or not so these kind of questions were there in the fourth round of interview this will be around uh, only 10 to 15 minutes so this was all the whole process for in getting interviewed with cisco now the main point comes why i got rejected so there are some points which i think becomes the cause of my rejection so let's discuss those so first thing is that my final year project as he asked me about final year project so when i was telling him about my final year project he didn't seem satisfied with my answer uh, so i would advise that we prepare with your final year project as well and for the questions as well related to final year project and try to choose the best project as your final year project and the second thing is that yeah i wanted to know my passion for networking so i think that question could be answered in a much better way maybe i was not able to show my passion for a networking company so because it didn't seem satisfied me to my answer that why i want to join a networking company and the third thing which i think is that my internship related to compilers because when he was asking about my research work and i was telling about my research and compilers he didn't seem satisfied he was not interested in compilers and also in my both interview rounds no he just asked me what i have done in compilers and then don't ask any questions on my that internship so i think that could also be the cause this is just my personal opinion so yeah this was a complete interview experience with cisco and the things which could be answered in a more better way so don't repeat these mistakes in your interviews so best of luck for your next interview and till then bye bye guys see you soon in the next video